Uh, <clears throat> need some water after this. Just take my pony, yeah. bro. Oh, safe B. Pony? <coughs> Pony? Okay. Alright, um. Despite academics being a really big part of dentistry. In this video, we're going to be discussing what we think are important qualities to have as a dentist. I mean, look, academically, the bottom line is you've got to have the particular grades. Mm -hmm. So whether it be A star AA or, or triple A at A level or strong GCSEs, uh, requirements depend by different universities. But yeah, unfortunately, there's no getting away from the fact that you've got to be hitting these grades. Mm -hmm. Despite academics being a really big part of dentistry, another part that's sometimes overlooked is the actual qualities you need to develop as a person. So these can be mm -hmm. as communication, leadership, working as a team, and just generally being a quite approachable person. Because once you leave dental school, you're going to have the necessary knowledge and the tools to be able to tackle any problem a patient may present with you. But you need to be a person that a patient can confide in and can trust. And this can only be built by being a very approachable and likable person. So I do think that these qualities that you know, you've mentioned um you can work on and what's i've what i found what's helped me is putting myself in it outside of my comfort zone so i have been involved in sports teams you know sport is a passion of mine and i would suggest that if you do have a passion you you follow through with it and 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 put yourself in a position where you can mingle with other people that you may not have met before but you can mingle with them and you have the same common interest and you can share your ideas together and things like that for me it was you know cricket teams football teams uh things like that so yeah um Another thing is I've I've tried musical instrument and I did I didn't particularly enjoy it but you know I did it I did it for a year and a bit but you know I did give it a good go I wanted to see if I'd enjoy it I didn't but at least I tried it that that kind of thing um, I'll put a poll in the corner I don't actually know how to do that now but I will learn how to Ooh, do that we'll work out yeah we'll work, work out, out. Uh, uh, now, what musical instrument did I play uh, might surprise a few but yeah. And going off from what you just said, I think it's important to get the correct work-life balance. Mm. It's important not just stick your head in a book for 24 hours of the day, trying to absorb as much knowledge as possible, because it's just not sustainable. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Yeah. You need to learn to blow off steam, be yourself. Mm. And you can, uh, you can do this through many outlets, like mm. playing sports, meeting friends, watching a movie, anything. Just chilling out and disengaging for a bit. Because I think it's important to develop that side of your life as well, just to make the whole process enjoyable. Because it is really fun. And when you do get that work-life balance correct, it's one of the best things you're going to do in your life. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you stay tuned for more. I've done a musical instrument. There you go. Yeah. We can do a poll in the corner. What musical instrument have I played? Yeah, fair enough. Mm, I call that, bro. Okay, yeah, come.